Many people emailed us about the ground screws and said it's going to be a problem. I said, oh, no worries, no problem. But, all right, guys, so the Chico ground mount system as a whole has been amazing. It has not been hard to assemble. What held us up was the ground screws. Why we didn't have the solution. So we tried a different approach to it. All right, guys, so what you're seeing here is the extension bar from our auger. I felt pretty sure this was gonna work. Let's tighten it up. And here goes the gamble. Will it work? Three, two, one. Hmm. Okay guys, here's the solution. So we're here at Sunbelt, guys. Sunbelt Rentals. We'll see what they say. Hopefully, they've got a solution for us. Heads for this right now, but we do offer them. So you take the bucket off, and then you just attach the auger head here. And so on this on this walk behind, you could put an auger head on this, and it would actually drive those earth screws down, huh? Yes, sir. Thanks to our partnership over with Sunbelt Rentals, we uh, came up with a great solution here with what they call the Dingo. And this is a walk behind machine from Toro, coupled with the hydraulic head on the front of it. This turned out to be the most amazing and effective solution. Pretty simple to operate as you can see here. This takes a short bit of time to get used to. So as we offload the dingo and move it over into position, You'll see that we've currently got a few ground screws that are slightly in the ground, but it wasn't working. We tried it with a piece of rebar. We tried to make it happen, uh, and it just wasn't happening. However, when we use the Dingo, you'll see here, it literally drives it in with precision, and it's almost like it's just going right into butter. What was impossible became extremely easy, efficient, and very possible. Here is just lowering it into the ground screw and aligning the hex head there on the drive with the ground screw. We're going to run the screws through there, tighten them up, and uh, that's how we're going to end up driving it in, screwing it into the ground while app applying a little pressure from the top. So we'll put some screws in here. There we go. We've got our screws in, they're lined up with the hex head, and we've tightened them down. So uh, the key isn't to go as fast as you can, it's just you want to slowly make your progress with it. Notice if you try to work too fast and push it too quick, it does kind of move the machine. So uh, just small progressive downward motion, and honestly it's like uh, a ground screw going into butter. So guys, this is the solution here. We unscrew it, we pull the dingo out, and rinse and repeat, go to the next one, do the same thing. Now most of you are going to uh, have your ground screws out of the ground already. Uh, you can simply uh, screw it in from the top and it'll be the same process. Honestly, with the dingo, the process moved very quickly. Now, what I've done is pay, placed a piece of string across the top here, and we're going to put a line level, as you can see here, right onto the string so we can get these things as level as possible. The neat thing with the Chico ground mount system is you'll be able to use the bolts to uh, adjust the base. Uh, this system, the Chico system, is actually very adjustable, so don't worry about having to be 100% precise. There's a lot of grace in this system to be able to install it. What I'm doing here simply is uh, setting up the next one and uh, starting the screws. Uh, sometimes with the, uh, the coating on there, it can be a little challenge. So just get them started and then there you go. Put the dingo back in, tighten it down. 
and you're ready to go again. By the way, this hydraulic system is incredibly powerful. You do need a hydraulic drive to drive these into the ground. We chose the Dingo, you guys, because it's a walk-behind system, it's cost-effective, and we chose Sunbelt as the uh, partner in this because they're everywhere on planet Earth. So uh, find a Sunbelt near your location, get the Dingo, and there you go. It's that simple to get these ground screws in the ground. The Chico system as a whole has not been difficult to install. What really stalled us was the ground screws. Now, if I could do it again, knowing that the Dingo was the answer, I'd do it in a heartbeat, guys. Quicker than cement. Uh, real quick, simple, you know, uh, process. All right, guys, so the Chico ground mount system as a whole has been amazing. It has not been hard to assemble. What held us up was the ground screws. Why we didn't have the solution without extremely heavy construction equipment to get them into the ground. We tried our gasoline auger and it didn't work as you saw. So Sunbelt Rentals is your go-to. Go get the dingo from them, get the hydraulic head on it, screw them down like we showed you guys. Those ground screws will go into the earth like they're going into butter. So that is the fix for that, you guys. Outside of that, the rest of the Chico system, which you're gonna see next week as we install the V-mounts and we begin to get everything there, you're gonna see the Chico system is an amazing, awesome ground mount system. So we'll see you guys next week. Stay tuned and we're gonna show you the next video on this. It's gonna be awesome. By the way, guys, if you wanna pick up this or other amazing solar gear, head over to Signature Solar, okay? Signature Solar, we love them. They have great products. They're a great partner, and I love it because they're there when you need them. Uh, SignatureSolar.com. Check out our coupon code on the screen. Save 50 bucks when you order. It helps the channel. Also, just hit the link below, guys. It'll take you right there. It's kind of important in the system to, to hit the link below so it knows that it's actually coming from us. So if you want to help the channel out, we'd appreciate it while you also save 50 bucks. Hit that link. Type in the coupon code, and there we go. Guys, we'll see you next week. I hope this video helped you. If it did, hit the like and subscribe for me. All right? We want to get this out there where there were no videos on this ground screw and how to easily get them in. This is the video. See ya.